Hey friends, welcome. So this morning, before I head out to work real quick, I just wanna share with you again, we're gonna cut some acrylic. I know that um, someone was saying that they had bought some and they're having a hard time cutting it. So we're gonna do like the entire thing and show it all, okay? So again, this is the acrylic I use. This is the only one I've ever used. It even says on there that it's perfect for the Cricut Maker. It's 0 0.04 is the thickness on it. And again, this came from Amazon. So I did have another person that asked me about cutting it without the plastic film over it. Um, which is this protective film. So I'm actually going to take this off so that I can do that for them also. I think they wanted to know if like it would get scratched up or anything. So let me just get my hands on this film. Sorry, it's a little hard to get started to get it off. Sorry, I need to bring it close to me in order to get it off. Hold on once. Oh, no, there we go. I got it. Okay. So there's the film off. And there's a film on the other side. I'll get it too. Maybe. I'm going to scratch it up just trying to get the film off of it. All right, so I have the plastic films off and I'm gonna be using my strong grip mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'll go in and tape it, but I just wanna get this sort of off to the side. So I've got this on my strong grip mat. Put this over to the side and I'm gonna go in on my computer, I'm going to upload. I'm going to use this insert image. And I want the size to be two inches. All right. So now I'm going to duplicate it. I think I can get four on a sheet. We'll see. So now I'm going to hit make it. Sorry, this is trying to hurry because I got to go to work. Forgive me. Now I'm going to go to continue. Now I'm going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to do basswood. And I like to do the thick one. Now I'm going to have to change to my knife blade. So I'm going to move over to here. I'm going to take out my fine point. There's my knife blade. All right, I'm going to put in my knife blade. All right. Now, I also want to just tape up the ends here to make sure that doesn't come up, just to make it a little bit more secure. So yes, I have my knife blade. I'm just moving my pieces on my mat. Let me show you real quick. I was just moving the pieces on my mat so that they fit on my piece of acrylic. Okay, so now we'll go back to here. All right, so now I'm going to load in my piece and continue. Now, the only thing I'm going to fast mode is the cutting, only because 
it will make the video super long. But I will go back to filming before I even bring it out, okay? All right, so I want you guys to see this. Um, there is almost an hour and a half remaining. So I've already showered and changed into my scrubs. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to leave this cutting. All right, so I apologize. I didn't come in and finish this last night because I got home from work so late, but um, I did do the regular 14 passes with this. I did this weird flower shape. I'm not really sure why I did that because it's an odd shape. I haven't used it before, but I wanted to use it. So I think that's why I kind of did it. Now, one thing that I do find with this, I do have to sort of play with it a little bit. Kind of give it a little bit of bend. So I like to have a little bit of space in between. And, you know, sometimes when I worry, especially with weird shapes, that am I going to, you know, maybe break one, bending another one, I'll go in and just sort of cut it. So, of course, all my bending and tugging was out of frame. Fortunately, I did all four. You have to know that, you know, it does take a little bit of playing with it. Even, um, you know, even when I do more passes, I still have to play with it just a little bit. So this is the first time I've used these little, um, you know, pliers to do this. And I was thinking because of, you know, the weird shape that it would be helpful. But it's super helpful. I think I'll probably always use these. Just want to be careful because this acrylic is easy to break, you know, because it is thinner. If you're not careful, and I have such a weird little shape here. I just wish that it didn't take so long for it to cut through it, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. So this is one of those projects that if I were going to do multiple of them, I would probably put them on, you know, and just start them and then, you know, do other things around my house and um, just come back and check on them. You know what I mean? Because if you're like, I only did four and it was an hour and a half. And I could have gotten six on this sheet. So if I, you know, if I were like, oh, I need to make, you know, 12, 18 keychains 
or whatever, I would probably put this on in the morning and just do stuff and watch it. Or I would, you know, with me, I would probably like put it on before I go to bed. Just like make sure that it's not lifting or anything and then I'd probably just go to bed and let it run. I let this run while I was at work. So once you get a hold of it, it starts like popping out. And like I said, I wouldn't go any thicker than this. I think that this is probably the thickest that you could go. But then, you know, I feel like if you went any thinner, I mean, if you were putting epoxy on it, it would be fine. But any thinner wouldn't be fine on its own, you know. I'm sorry I did such a crazy shape to show you. I, I probably should have done this crazy shape on my own. But, here we go. I did break one and it was my fault because I grabbed it on the bottom instead when I pulled it off instead of where it needed to be. But, you know, here are my shapes and they're fine I'll probably like do some coffee mugs like some little Starbucks cups and see how they look but I have some cute little flowers that I want to put on these so that's why I did these I'm sad that I messed this guy up so I guess I'll only be doing three Anyways, listen, I hope that this was helpful. I know that, you know, it takes a little bit of, of work to get them done, but you can definitely do the acrylic with your maker. You know, and the nice thing is, you know, for acrylic blanks, if it's something that you want yourself, a particular shape, it's not always easy, you know, to find. So, you at least have the option to be able to do some. All right, listen, I hope that this was helpful. And again, you know, you can always make it run a second time if you wanted to. I, For me, because of the time it takes to, um, you know, run that 14 times, I'd rather put the little bit of oomph into pulling it out than, you know, the hour and a half into setting it to run a whole nother time. You know what I'm saying? So that would be up to you, but I think it would probably be, you know, much easier to pop it out if you did it, if you ran it through twice, but you know, I don't think it's that bad and I'd rather do that instead of the time. So just, you know, be sort of gentle or you'll do what I did with this. Now this was a little bit more difficult of a you know, piece to pop out. So, all right. Hey, listen, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.